Hi there. I'm sure you're excited to get on with all the Python coding you can imagine. But before we do that, we first have to download Python. So follow me. Go to Google Chrome or whatever browser you have and type www.python.org. Click enter and you're taken to the Python website. Now, in this website, it's full of documentation, communities, etc. that'll be much of use when you will become a professional Python developer. But for now, all we need is the download. So if you scroll down, you can see the download section. In it, it composes of Python 3.4 and Python 2.7. In our lectures, we'll be using Python 3.4. So click it. It takes it to the Python 3.4 page. If you scroll down, you will see the file section. Now, there are two bits for the Python 3.4. There's a Mac OS X 32 bit and the Mac OS X 64 bit. For my case, I'll be using the Mac OS X 32 bit, but it totally depends on what your computer can handle. So click the version. It should immediately start downloading. Uh, here it is, just click the package and go through the steps. As you probably might have imagined, I've downloaded it already, so I won't be doing it again. But basically, just continue through it, click agree, and then just click install. Now, once you've installed the Python 3.4, go into applications. In applications, you should see Python 3.4. If not, just search for it, it's right here. There we go, Python 3.4. Click it or double click it and it should be composed of four items. The IDLE, the Python documentation, the Python launcher and the update shell profile dot command. Now, in the whole of the lectures, we'll be using the IDLE. Double click the IDLE and this pops up. It will be in this where all our coding will be done. The IDLE is the interpreter of Python you need an IDLE to run the Python code. Now there are many different IDLEs that you can download. If you follow me, you can search for um, different IDLEs like PyCharms. PyCharms is a great IDLE to run your Python code. But for now, I'll just be using the normal IDLE that comes downloaded with. Now, I think one thing that might be different with your IDLE and my IDLE is the text size. You must be wondering why mine is bigger and yours might be really small. So if you go into IDLE and click preferences and let the preferences pop up, you can see in here that you can change your text size as well as the text face. So I believe yours will be on 12 or 14, just click 16, it's nice and big. And you can also change the text face. Mine is Helvetica new, but it's your choice. Just click apply and there we go, that's your new text. Awesome. Now we've downloaded Python and we have an IDLE to run it. Let's start coding. See you in the next lecture.